Glory to Jesus Christ, my name is Father Volodymyr Zablotsky and uh, I welcome you to yet another episode of our online Orthodox cooking show. And today we are going to make European style butter. And uh, the difference between American butter and the European style butter is that in Europe, when they produce and make butter, they use a sour cream instead of fresh cream as is done here in America. So, to do that, you have to make uh, a sour cream. You can probably buy sour cream from the store and make it from that, but I think it's more uh, fun to do it yourself. So, to make <coughs> sour cream, you will need um, a quart of uh, heavy cream and some buttermilk, because heavy cream that we have in the store is, is uh, pasteurized and th that means that all necessary good bacteria for it to make uh, sour cream are already taken out of it so we have to reintroduce those good bacteria uh, from buttermilk so you you will need a few tables I'm gonna make sure that it's well shaken and you'll make kinda eyeball it few table tablespoon of uh, uh, buttermilk to um, uh, to a quart of um, heavy cream and all you have to do is just to pour your heavy cream into that a little bit of oops splattering all over the place but just pour all your um, heavy cream <coughs> and then you just have to mix it well because all that um, buttermilk is on the bottom of that bowl so just ma make sure that you mix it so all that all those good bacteria from the buttermilk are distributed throughout the um, heavy cream <coughs> and that's it now you have to let it set aside for about two days uh, depending on the room temperature it can be one day I, I had my uh, uh, out for two days but uh, again it has to be room temp temperature otherwise if you put it in the refrigerator it will take way too long for it to become sour cream and um, that's it in two days you come and you make your sour uh, your butter rather <laughs> so if you ever uh, made uh, butter from regular cream you know that it goes through stages when you whip uh, you you just make a whipped cream first uh, and then eventually if you whip uh, long enough it will turn into butter the same thing applies to sour cream you whip it first and becomes whipped sour cream and then eventually it turns into butter but before you do start whipping after two days when you have a cream turns into uh, sour cream before you put in your milk into your mixer uh, to whip it uh, put it in a refrigerator for a few hours so it, it it's not room temperature because if it's going going to be uh, room temperature you will have a hard time making butter because butter at the room temperature butter uh, melts as you know so kind of becomes very soft and therefore it's gonna be very difficult for it to to become butter in the whipping process and you can see how thick um, my cream or sour cream is it's very thick and um, so now we're going we're going to just put all this sour cream into the mixing bowl of our mixer And and put on our whisk and start from slower speed and then turn it into high and and um, just whip as as you would be whipping a regular cream. So as I told you before that uh, when you whip 
cream, it goes through the stages uh, from the liquid you, you have a whipped cream and then turns into butter. It's the same with the sour cream. Sour cream, we are at the point where the sour cream has uh, has become a whipped sour cream and actually I'm gonna show it how, how it's, you see how it sits on the uh, with a peak on the on the whisk. So basically this is this is a whipped sour cream. In Europe uh, adding a little bit of sugar this whipped sour cream is is used just like a whipped cream to decorate cakes and to do the filling. So but that maybe will be another episode for my uh, wife Matushka Gini to show you how to do uh, stuff with a uh, sweet whipped sour cream. But with this to, to make butter you just we just continue to uh, whip it at the high speed. So we are getting closer to where um, this whipped sour cream will become butter. So I will continue uh, to film it. Uh, probably hard to, to be commenting because the sound from the mixer is kind of loud. So, but you can you can you will see it will eventually come together as a butter. Okay, so it's coming <clears throat> slowly, becoming a butter. It's uh, some of the liquid begin to separate, and uh, it probably will take another minute or two for this to uh, whip enough to a point where uh, butter will separate from the buttermilk. <clears throat> begins to separate if you can if you can look the grains of the butter begin to come together and <clears throat> slowly the butter milk begins to separate from um, from the solids and um, uh, just have to be careful don't do it on the full speed because the liquids begin will begin to splatter a little bit um, so on the, on the lower speed might might be a little better so all right so the butter separated itself from the buttermilk and now we'll have um just we'll have to just uh uh, finish the 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 um, uh, finished pulling together the butter. So, all right. At this point, we we just have to separate butter from buttermilk, and and all you you need to do is just to squeeze squeeze out the buttermilk. But you kind of have to work your way a little fast because from the heat of your hand, buttermilk will begin to um, soften. So we have a cold water, bowl of cold water here to prevent softening of the butter further. So I can work and squeeze out the rest of the butter and just put it in the ice cold water and there you have it. You have. Uh, if you want, if you want, you can. Um, I did a mistake. You can strain. There is. There will be a little bit more. Few pieces of butter in there. Uh, you can use the sour uh, buttermilk to start another batch of, of sour cream. Uh, you can give it to your chickens, or <laughs> just drink it. It's uh, full of good bacteria and, and good probiotics. And. Um, uh, I'll take a few, few seconds to clean myself up a little bit and I'll show you how to salt the butter. So when you make your butter, 
uh, it's a good idea to have uh, uh, an ice, a bowl of ice cold water with you because by touching it with your hand you warm it up. But this is this is it. This is your butter. You can still try to squeeze out a little bit of buttermilk, but keep it cold at the same time because um, it's um, uh, it's warming up pretty quickly and. Um, in order for you to salt the butter, all you need to do is to knead in some salt. Some salt. So um, just put put some salt over the butter now, and start kneading as you would knead your dough. And there will be still some some of the. Uh, butter may co coming out, uh, out of it and um, uh, just continue kneading mixing that salt in okay uh, we just discovered something that um, it's summer outside and uh, it's hard to keep this uh, butter ice cold so what we decided to do to continue and salt the butter we're just gonna transfer it into a separate bowl and uh, with a wooden uh, wooden or a plastic spoon, you can <clears throat> you can continue to kind of knead your butter while, while adding a little bit more more salt to it, and uh, just folding in. And if you don't like your butter salted, it's fine. You're not gonna offend anyone. But remember that unsalted butter will not last as long in the refrigerator uh, as opposed to the salted one and uh, and the salted butter kind of gives it a little bit uh, better flavor and if you can you know if you can see but as we keep folding the butter more uh, of that butter make is being squeezed out of it which is good because you're not supposed to have you see how much butter make came, is coming out it's uh, you're not supposed to have all that buttermilk inside of your butter anyway so it's kinda hard to do but you just make sure that you mix that salt in well so there you have it you have um, from the start when we start whipping to uh, to make the butter it takes about 15 minutes 15 20 minutes um, and of course not counting the two days that you make uh, sour cream from uh, from a uh, whipped cream from heavy heavy cream rather uh, and so about a quart of heavy cream at the end will produce about 12 ounces of butter so it's fun project to do it's very easy project to do too but one tip that I would like to uh, give you not to salt the sour cream or the cream ahead of time before whipping because what will happen you you will whip and all the salt is actually will end up with the liquid because salt does not dissolve in fat but dissolves in a little bit of liquid and so there is a little bit of res residue of water still in the butter and that's where the salt uh, kind of contains uh, if you salt it before you know your butter won't be salted so make sure to salt the butter at the very end when it's ready together and just mix in the salt uh, if you like this video please give it a thumb up on youtube share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this